Happy New Year! I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas break. Yeah, we went to see our grandma in Chicago. Yeah, that was fun. And we have Ellie home now. Say hi to Ellie. Hi, hi Ellie. Ellie! And it's your birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday! Thanks! So, in the church calendar, we concluded the 12 days of the Christmas season, celebrated Epiphany on January 6, yesterday, and today we're celebrating Jesus' baptism. A lot of special things are happening. Yeah, but this year, I thought we would take the next couple of weeks to review the stories from after Jesus' birth. Sounds good. So last week, Rosie had a very special message about an extraordinary experience in an ordinary life through the story of Simeon and Anna. Today, we'll hear the story once again. Here we go! Young babies are often taken to church so their parents can thank God for them and ask Him to care for them. This is what happened when Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple when he was a very young baby. When baby Jesus was eight days old, Joseph and Mary took him to the temple at Jerusalem to dedicate his life to God, just as it is written in the law God gave to Moses. At the temple in Jerusalem, there was a man of God called Simeon, who was 84 years old. The Spirit of God had promised him that he would be alive to see the Savior God was sending to the world. Simeon prayed and waited for many years, and he was now a very old man. When Simeon saw baby Jesus, God's Holy Spirit told him, Simeon, this baby is the promised one. This baby was the savior he had been waiting to see. Simeon asked Joseph and Mary, Could I hold the baby? Then Simeon's heart was filled with joy, and he praised and thanked God that his prayers had been answered. He said, Lord, now I can die in peace, for I have seen the Savior you have given the world, just as you promised me I would. He is the light that will shine upon the nations, and he will be the glory of your people Israel. Joseph and Mary were amazed to hear these things. Then Simeon told Mary, Many things will happen to your son that will make you very sad, but God knows those who believe and follow him. Anna, a very old widow woman, was also in the temple. She told Joseph and Mary, God's Spirit had shown me that your son was the promised Savior. Mary kept these words from God in her heart. Simeon and Anna had an extraordinary experience meeting the Savior of the whole world. That's right. For us, Christmas comes every year. It is a special day, but it is one of those things that we often take for granted. Yeah, maybe we can relate if we think about things we've wanted for a long time and we finally get it. Yeah, Simeon was 84 years old. Just imagine his joy. Yeah, Jesus is that special. You and I are so blessed to have a special friend in our lives. We should tell all the people about him. Yeah, and keep telling his story. Let's sing a song. I love to tell a story. We'll only sing one of the verses. I love to tell the story, tis pleasant to repeat What seems each time I tell it, more wonderfully sweet I love to tell the story, for some have never heard The message of salvation from God pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to save and love us. You are an extraordinary God. Please help us to tell your story to people in the world, and please use us to be the instruments in sharing your love. We pray in your name. Amen. Amen.